This is Math 141, and uh, for this section 4.3, what I want to do is uh, take a function, a logarithmic function, and let's say we have 4 to the x, and uh, I'll uh, evaluate it at a certain spot. So f of 3, if I plug in 3, that's 4 cubed, which is uh, 64. So if I take this function and I plug in 3, it spits out 64. Now, ideally, um, what I want to do with this unit now is find the inverse, or at least know what the inverse is, find out what it is. In other words, I want the thing that undoes this function, 4 to the, if I plug in 64, it should spit out a 3. All right, that is what logarithms do. This, this f inverse is, is going to be a logarithm. So if f of x is 4 to the x, in other words, 4 to the third power is 64 specifically, the logarithm statement of that, which is equivalent, is log base 4. Notice my base is 4. And then my input and output switch. So log base 4 of 64 is 3. That's what logarithms do. So the inverse of 4 to the is log base 4 of the. Just has the same base. There's a couple ways to think about uh, logarithms. Like log 4, 64 is, is asking a question. What it's asking is 4 to what power gives 64 or is 64? And the answer is 3 because 4 to the third answer is 3 because 4 to the third is 64. Logarithms spit out exponents. That's an important thing to hold on to. So these answers to logarithms are exponents. In general, if I have a log base a of y equals x, that is equivalent it's the same relationship as saying a to the x power is y. And when I say that's equivalent, what I, what I mean is this statement and this statement are talking about the same interplay between a, y, and x, the same way in which they're related to each other. Just like similarly, if I say uh, 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 minus 2 is 5. Like these two, this addition statement and this subtraction statement are talking about the same relationship between 2, 5, and 7, but just in different ways. Logarithms and exponents, same thing. So first thing I'd like to do is a little bit of, uh, of practice. Uh, if I told you that um, 3 squared was 9, hopefully you would believe that. So let's rewrite that as a log statement. And right now I'm just rewriting. And I'm just getting used to this notation right here, this log base a, what it means. So uh, 3 squared is 9. I can rewrite that as log base 3 of 9 is the exponent 2. Or if I told you that uh, log base 3 of 81 is 4, think about how you would rewrite that statement to be equivalent. That's the logarithm statement. I want the explanation statement, which would be 3 to the 4th, right? The base to the power is 81. Notice the input here is 9, the output is 2. But in this one, the input is 2 and the output is 9. So uh, log base 5 of 125, we want to evaluate that. We want to, we want to see what that's equal to. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a log base 5 button on my calculator. Um, but I do know that what this is asking is 5 to what power would give me 125. Now, either I know it, or I can guess and check on my calculator for a little bit. Um, but it is, it is 3, because 5 to the third power is 125. So this equals 3, because, like I said, 5 to the third is 125. So if I was asked to evaluate this, my answer is 3, because 3 is the exponent that relates 5 to 125. 
Next one, log base five of 25. This is asking five to what power would give me 25? Well, two. All right, log base two of six of one sixteenth. So two to what power would give me one sixteenth? Well, if it was 16, if it wasn't one sixteenth, two, four, eight, 16, it would be a four. But since it's the reciprocal of that, it would be negative four. Remember that um, negative exponents flip the fraction. All right, log base 10 of one one hundredth. Well, same thing then. Um, 10 to what power is one one hundredth? I'm, I know it's going to be negative because it's this reciprocal, and then 10 squared is 100, so negative 2. Okay, log base 16 of 4. 16 to what power is 4? So this isn't a fraction, this isn't just flipping it over, um, but I do know that the square root of 16 is 4. So uh, the square root is like taking the one half power, 16 to the one half. So this is one half. All right, let's take a look at these three. Uh, log base seven of one. So think of what this is asking. Seven to what power would give you one? anything to the zeroth power, except zero is one, so it's zero. That's a good thing to remember. Uh, log, they say, um, of one, it's gonna be zero, as long as a isn't zero. Okay, how about log base six of six? Six to what power would give us six? Six to the first power gives us six, so one. It's another good one, log base a of a is one a to the first power is a. And then this isn't a 39, this is three to the ninth power. So this is asking three, right, the base, to what power is three to the ninth power? Well, it's gotta be nine, because it's to the ninth power. Remember, exponents and logarithms undo each other, they're inverses. So if I have a three to the, and I log base three it, those undo each other, leaving me just the nine, just the exponent. So log base a, of a to the b is b. Log base 10. So log base 10 is what's called the common log. And so it's actually so common we don't even need the base 10 part. In other words, if I just say log whatever it's an implied base 10. So common log is just log itself. And we do have a button for that. Notice right here it just says log. So if I say uh, log of a thousand, think of what this is asking. This is asking 10 to what power is a thousand? So this three zero, so it should be three. So if I need to evaluate like uh, log of uh, 12,548, uh, 12, that log base 10, this is only base 10, I do have a button for that. So I can enter it. Now notice I get 4.09. It makes sense to me that this is 4 point something because notice I have this one, and then I have one, two, three, four significant pieces after it. This is somewhere in the ten thousands, four zeros. And anything that is in the ten thousands will be four point something. So if I even say uh, log of eight, two, five, one, one, it will be bigger, but still in the four. See, has four point nine because it's close to being in the ten thousands. If I get into the ten thousands. Now it'll be five point something. This tells me how many, basically how many digits I have after, after my first significant piece of information, log base 10. It also is a real specific value, like this is 10 to this power should give me 
a uh, 410,000 back. And let me let me do that. Um, 10 to the power of that answer gives me back that. Now notice I went 10 to the power of. What's really convenient is the log button and it has a shift button that's 10 to the x. This is actually its inverse, 10 to the x and log. It's, it was done this way by design. So I could have gone second that. That undoes it. Now there is another one that we want to be able to undo, and that is, let's say I had um, log base E of 53. So log base E, that's asking E to what power would give me 53. This is going to be what's called the natural log. Uh, my button for this is LN, uh, and it's really from the French, and I do not speak French, log de naturale, uh, natural log of 53. So the natural log, log base E, we'll use the symbol LN. And that's on our calculator as well. So uh, the natural log of 53 is about 3.97. Now notice what that means is if I take E to that power, see how E to the X is lined up with natural log? You can tell they undo each other. Uh, so natural E to the power of my last answer it'll give me the my 53 back. So natural log of whatever I can do in my calculator, but sometimes I don't need to. For example, natural log of one, do, do, do a zero, right? These log base A rules all apply for this too. Natural log of E. Let's think of what that's asking. Natural log is log base e. So this is saying e to what power gives me e? One. Or how about natural log of e to the seventh? e to what power gives me e to the seventh? Seven. All right. Uh, give those problems a try. Let me know what questions you have.